the lad we're going to talk to now is a good friend of ours, and they are yeah. certainly back in the day anyway. Um, he will not be living in Barking. He, once he's in Orlando, he is staying there. It is welcome back to Charlton TV, Stevie Crane. Craney, how are you? Hey, I'm well. Good to see you again, guys. Brilliant. Listen, we, we spent a long time last time, and we will so this time as well, talking about your upcoming football tournament, which was earlier this season. Before we talk to you again, let's just take a look at how it went. was amazing. The culture, the conditions and the course was fantastic. Very really happy to be here. It's an amazing experience. This course was pretty nice. I really liked the environment around it. It is an amazing tournament. The consistency of the greens, of the fairways is amazing. It was a little bit tougher than the other courses, but I really enjoyed playing this. I definitely love to come back again. It's a great idea to have the foot golf in the night. Also hospitality and uh, the grass was spectacular. The perfect tournament and the, and the perfect language. So thank you and uh, see you again soon. Wow, looks amazing, Craney. Francesco Totti, Clarence Seedorf, Dida as well. I mean, what a star studded bunch of people to get involved with. How was it? How did it go? Yeah, it was great. It was um, obviously we had uh, Totti, obviously, he was. Uh, legend over there for Roma. We had 15 ex-AC Milan players. We had uh, Miralem Pankanic, the ex-Barcelona guy who's actually playing for a local team there. Steven Taylor, the uh, ex-Newcastle centre-half, who's uh, managing uh, Golf United over there. Um, so yeah, we, we had a, a lot of uh, names and faces and it was a lot of fun to work with them. Um, you know, see their talent, they're still competitive as ever. Um, so, yeah, it was, it was a good experience from, from our point of view, and obviously the players really enjoyed it too. Now, it's Charlton, Craney. What's going on? Well, you know I tried to get you guys out, but you've got commitments <laughs> where you were. We'll try and get an off-season an off -season, uh, tournament for you guys, and you can bring all your, your old superstar friends as well. Yeah, brown, curbishy, minto don't roll off the tongue, though, does it, like Totti? <laughs> no, no, no. Really, it just, no. Uh, it just does. It's not the same, is it? <laughs> <laughs> now, we know, Craney, we know you tried to get us out there and we, we, we couldn't do it, but who, who would you say was the best of them all? Um, I think uh, there's a lot of talent on show, but um, Seedorf, he's, uh, uh, there's a couple of clips on our um, YouTube channel and, you know, you see Totti was obviously the main attraction and uh, you see him ping a ball over, over, you know, a lake, big lake carry, um, but then the, the camera cuts out and he's actually dropped in the water. He splashed, first, <laughs> first kick. <laughs> Diedorf hit a laser. It, it didn't come more than eight yards off the off the top of the surface, and it landed like five yards from the pin. I mean, genius technique, unbelievable. Hasn't he won something like three Champions Leagues as well, and an amazing amount of domestic titles? And I, I heard he still keeps himself really fit. So, not surprised yeah. at all, mate. Brandy, I know you haven't got any knees anymore, but w would you like to have been involved in yeah, something like that? Yeah, yeah, I'd have putted. <laughs> crazy guy. Wheel me on for the putting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Craney, did you get yourself involved at all? Well, I, I obviously was was organising, so I didn't um, play in the tournament itself. But I, I played the course a lot because I designed it. Uh, so we sort of designed it over four or five days, just because you know the weather changes and the, the grass gets cut. Uh, so we wanted to make sure the course and the, the design was perfect. So I played it there, and um, I knew it was tough. I knew it was very tough. So. Uh, I don't think I'd have done quite as well as I used to do. <laughs> Tell us what it was like working out in the UAE, you know, and how does it compare to, to working in, and being in Orlando? Well, it, it was amazing. Obviously, you get these um, impressions uh, through the media that it's um, not a particularly friendly place. But honestly, the people there were, were second to none. They were so friendly, accommodating. The weather was fabulous. Um, obviously, sunshine, 75 pretty much every day. We did one night round under the floodlights, which was sort of unique particularly um, in, in this sport. Um, so that was, that was good, but it was a, it was a fabulous place to go visit. Um, very cultural, um, but overall really friendly. They looked after us well. I mean, the ex-pros got, they got looked after so well, it was ridiculous. Go on, tell us something, what was it? What were they like? Oh, 
Yeah, they, they, they were great. I mean, we had a few, a few of the guys out there. Stephen Taylor, Newcastle guy, was amazing. Uh, Sebastian Frey, the old goalkeeper, was was just a, a top man. Um, but they were so competitive. You know, we, we helped put on a big paddle event, which is like a cross between squash and football. Um, and even playing that, they, you know, so so competitive, want to win at everything. Um, so it's interesting to see that. I mean, a few of them are kicking on a bit now, a bit older than us lot. Um, but they, they still want to win. Not as old as Curves. Um, what, what's next then for the foot golf tour, Craney? What's next? Well, this, this event generated a lot of interest. Um, so uh, we got some good sponsors over there, like Rare Arabia and um, some, some big companies. So we're now looking for, for more sponsors, particularly UK-based, because we've got events that people in Europe, um, Africa, Middle East. So we're hoping to have a couple of events at the end of this year and then we'll have a full calendar in 2024 and, and probably across three or four continents. So uh, obviously if anyone wants to get involved, um, ex-players, sponsors, you can always contact me at steve at profootgolftour.com. Um, but yeah, I think this first event set a real good foundation for us to hopefully you know, take it to the next, to the next level. And this event was, was, you know, it took football to a new level. Um, and that's the feedback we got, so we're quite, quite pleased. Absolutely fantastic, Craney. But one last thing from Brownie as well. What did you want to say about his, his top? What's something about his his top, yeah, you, you got told off last time for not having a top on, didn't you? Not a, a sponsored top. Yeah, got it on this time. Great football tour on this time. Make sure. And I lost a little bit of weight, so it's looking big on me in the world this time. It's bizarre. You're looking, you're looking well in that triple XL, Crony. Uh, no, seriously, <laughs> absolute pleasure to speak to you as always. Really pleased the foot golf is going from strength to strength. And uh, yeah, so I'm sure at some point we'd, we'd love to join you, but well done. Great to talk to you. Yeah, we'd love to have you guys. And, uh, thanks for having me again. Appreciate it. Cheers, mate. Take care.